It's true. I am trapped in a narrative. The narrative now has a life of its own. It travels inexorably towards my disgrace, towards my final expulsion, and it bears me along on its crest. <laughs> yes, in fact, for me, borne along by the story, there is even an odd kind of freedom. I may wear whatever mask I may choose. Tragic, defiant, tearful, resigned. I may try all these attitudes. I may bring what so-called feelings I like to rule, but they will not have the slightest effect on the outcome. The story has only one possible end. I know that look in the English. They affect a particular furrow-browed earnestness, a desperate considerateness. As they settle one's fate, they arrange their features in a way which is always moral and grave. They speak about law and principle and how much it will hurt them to do the thing they must do. And at the end of the seriousness, the weightiness, the sorrow, the judicious weighing of things in the scales, have you really not noticed? The decisions they make lead only one way. This is England. There is always a hanging. And this time it's decided. The noose has been fitted and the neck is my own.